Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl in there. And this your boy, Stanley. We gonna take a whole day to do the intro? Yeah, that's that's when you tired, you gotta, you know, you gotta yeah. drag it out. And it didn't help anything because this episode won't skip to the end. So yeah. hopefully we gonna hurry up and get through We say that and then we'll be talking for about 20, 25 minutes about mm -hmm. nothing. But yep. anyway, it was called For The Team. See, we don't got there and it's the morning after. Huh? After that day gone, Catherine and Jim Cry don't smash. <laughs> But anyway, so he turned over talking to somebody, I love you, Kate. She said, you don't love me. You just love my cookies. Um, uh -huh. So so what is it that you really want? She said, he said, no, I really do love you. She said, listen, cut all the bullshit. I'm still divorcing your A. I don't want to have nothing to do with you. And matter of fact, when you leave here, don't come back. He said, come on here, Kate. This, this, this is what I came here for. I came back here to make love to my wife. Hmm. She said, listen. You are not that same nice looking, charming boy that you were back at school when you seduced me when I was the overweight, insecure kid that was just happy for your attention. <laughs> that ain't me right now. I'm a little bit wiser. I'm a whole lot older. Huh? And you don't got the cookies, but guess what? This was all my plan. He was like, what? So you sat there and let me embarrass myself by sleeping with you? And I said, hold on, Jim. Wait a minute. What? Did you really just come out your mouth and tell your wife? That you allow me to embarrass myself by sleeping with you as if that you're some great prize. Hmm. Like you got them lined up waiting to sleep with you without pay. Because everybody that you sleep with gets pay. Uh -huh. So let's not do this, Jim. So you know what Catherine said? You know what? I, um, since you love me so much, when my birthday. He that said, kills us every time right there, the fellas. Yeah, we don't, be we no don't stay on our game when it come down to dates. Mm -hmm. See, see what it is. See, it, it, see, women is more prone to dates than we are. No, not me. I'm uh, terrible with dates. Uh, well, I'm talking about women across the board. No, we're not women. talking about you right now. Yeah, cause I, I, I'm built like a dude sometimes. Ladies, don't don't judge the players being a good man because he might forget a date. Cause it, Jim it, is not a good dude. No, nah, no, nah, Jim is terrible. He he sleep with prostitutes. He doing all that stuff. He don't love Catherine. But I'm talking about a good dude. Good whole thing. He can been there, taking care of the kids, making sure that you got gas in your car, make sure a roof over your head. And then he forget your birthday and he ain't skip. Nah, he ain't gonna be scared. You can't you can't miss somebody's birthday, the year, the date that they were born. Now, me, when we was together and we was dating and stuff. I didn't really hardly remember her birthday like that, but as we've been, we've been together now for over, over 20 years, uh -huh. <clears throat> over 20 years, so being with somebody over 20 years, it kind of seeks in, but you just met the player like three months ago and wanted to remember your birthday. Nah. It don't work I that wouldn't way. even remember your girlfriend's birthday. <laughs> no, Hell, no. I probably would remember my kid's birthday. That's how bad I am but, with dates. All my skit has to be in my phone. So that's why the church said, char charge it to my mind and not to my heart. Because players forget stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, he said, you know what? You're, I know when your birthday is. It's in February. She said, mm, try again, mother That's a lean birthday. I was like, come on, Jim. Come no. on. Say, Jim. Wrong coochie, wrong chick. Jim, so, come on, man. She said, okay, let me let you redeem yourself. When's our anniversary? He said, see, we're not going to keep playing these games here. Look, he's stalling and stuff. Uh -huh, trying yeah. to get, he said, it's June. June 16th. She said, mm. You're right. You did get something right. But um, listen, I'm going to go ahead and do what I told you I'm going to do. What I want you to do is get take and get your tail out this bed. Mm -hmm. Because right here, basically I smashed you and you got to go. He told me something. Well, I won't leave. I'm going to come back. And I will keep coming back until you don't have me no more. She said, listen to me. Listen to me real good. <laughs> you remember that gun that I blew um, D.A. Salisbury Steak's head off with? Huh? Come back here if you want. I will not hesitate to blow your motherfucking head off just as easily as I just blew you. I said... And walked away like a boss. And all I could hear is, when a woman's fed up... <laughs> And she walked away like a boss. I said, okay. All right. So then we see David, Deacon David. See, David, David moving too oh, goddamn David fast. David on cloud nine right now, boy. He, he grinning. He the player of the year. He said, he said, I might be 60, but I still got it. 
he done brought her to his little pad that he got. Uh-huh. On the water. I said. Player style. <laughs> he gonna tell Erica, listen, make yourself comfortable. Uh-huh. Um, but what I do want is some more information about who did that to you. Like Kevin Hart said, yeah. look at your face. face. What happened to your <laughs> face? Tell me what happened to your face. Because, look, it might take somebody from the outside going in and shake some things up to make this dude leave you alone. I said, you ain't going to have that problem no more because the dude she talking about is dead. And the person that she really talking about is Candace. Yep. So, <laughs> I said, so you may not want to really know the answer to your own questions here, Deacon. Yeah, Candace. yeah, yeah. So, she going to look at Deacon David and say, you know what? Where's your bedroom at? He said, it's down said, the hall. Down the hall to the right. <laughs> One bedroom? Yeah. He said, one bed? Yeah. He said, it's a big bed, too. Good enough for the both of us. He said, I want you to come and be in this bed every night. Every that I, night. That I'm I here. said, God darn. She said, you know what? Pump your brakes. Let's, let's take things a little bit slow. I'm going to stay over the night. And why he try to put the manipulation move on her? Said, I've been married to Veronica for over 20 years, and I ain't used to sleeping by myself. I so can't I, get a good night's so sleep. I can't get a good night's sleep, so I need me a warm woman to be beside me. <laughs> get your goddamn tail back in this goddamn screen. <laughs> I can't with you. <laughs> I said, you know what, David? David was like, uh huh. So Erica said, on that note, can I get a drink? I don't know what they was drinking, but that was a whole lot of liquor in them doctor glasses. It probably was some liquor. vodka. I thought it was some dark liquor. I said, uh-huh. I know what he doing. They won't dark. Uh -huh. They won't dark. They was about to sipping and doing what they were doing. And next thing we know, his phone goes off. Erica said, you know what? Act like I'm not here. Why every time when David trying to put his Mac on? He a cop lock. Jim calls. David. And he said, and he said, Yes. <laughs> yes, Jim. <laughs> Almost like, here you go, cop blocking here again. Here you go again. <laughs> Jim said, listen, David. I done bucked up, man. He said, what, said, you, what you done did now? He said, man, I made love to my wife. He said, well, it is your <laughs> it wife. It is your wife. So, I mean, what's so bucked up about that? So, he I ain't said, attracted her in years. Do you understand that I had to take one for the team? <laughs> I'm trying to keep us all out the pen. <laughs> I'm trying not to be nobody's B in the joint. Come on here. You need to talk to Veronica. He said, whoa, 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 whoa. You say what? Jim said, this is why I did it. I slept with her hoping that I can get her and Demonica in the same room so that they could have a little conference so that we could figure out a plan and a story to keep us all out of jail because we got a hump. Oh, Mama Rose over there, she over that bullshit. She ain't she, on our team no nah, more. She ain't an ally no more. Yeah, so we got to come together. <laughs> we got to do like Ghost Tommy and Canaan did. We got mm, to bring this thing plan. together. David said, listen, I will call her. And that's the best I can do. I ain't going to sleep with her now. I ain't. Jim said, <laughs> he said, I don't care. You need to sleep with her on the stairs. You need to, to do, do something. something. But you got to fix this, and Ayala can't do this. You need to do it. That day, gonna David said, "Hey, hey, player, you took and slept with your wife. That's on you. That's dog. on you. Yeah, hey, you took that L, and you ain't gonna bounce back from that one. He said, but what she got you, you, player. Look, David said, but what I ain't gonna do. She not getting this prime date. She's not doing it. Uh -huh. She ain't. She will get a call from me. She That's may it. even get a visit. But, but this right here." This is for Erica. Uh. <laughs> she ain't about to get it. I said, David, wait a minute. I said, David ain't trying to get, get some more sweet walls and he called all hyped up. And it just bring it all down to... Yeah, bring everything on down. And so then we see Jeffrey. Now, Jeffrey was instructed by his daddy, look, don't take no phone calls from your mom. Yeah. I'm working on a plan. And Jeffrey said, so is you going to hurt, hurt my mama now? He said, what you mean? I, I, I ain't going to hurt your mama. But I know one thing. If she keep on pushing you, you will. Uh -huh, so mm -hmm. that's why I need to hurry up and get a plan. And you need to stay away from me. <laughs> so Jeffrey calls Justin Timberlake. And that's what the hell you call him. Like, why know what you told me he need to come. Well, he did that after he talked to after, Wyatt. Yeah, after Because Wyatt about. said he was over there staring at him. And say he's crazy. You need to stay away from him. But I'm like, Jeffrey, you know this dude is stalkerish. You know, you know he wants you bad. And you're going to call him and bad. tell him to come over. He said, he ain't wait no time coming over there either. Oh, yeah. He ain't even getting about a ticket. 
He just came. You can't be playing with nobody emotions like that. So Jeffrey said, hey, come sit on this bed beside me. First of all, don't put the boy on your bed. I don't care about nothing. No. Nah. Put him on your bed because that triggers something in that dude because he's crazy. He said, listen, I think you need to talk to somebody. And I was like, you call him over there you to tell him that? him that? Yeah, you, you could have told him that when you was on the phone with him, that he could have went and see somebody. He said, what you mean I need to see somebody? He said, this right here. He said, man, you crazy. You stalking me. You doing all this bullshit. He said, I thought you called me over for something else. I said, what? To that leave, you, leave, that you to leave. leave me. He said, there's no us. We ain't never been together. So you going to dump me like that? He said, we ain't, ain't never watched like that. Then his phone rang. Is that him? <laughs> that him? He said, this is what I'm talking about right here. This who crazy was, stuff. Who was that movie back in the day? Was it Obsessed? Oh, there's been a whole bunch, bunch of... bunch of movies where that girl was obsessed with that man. And in her head, in that her mind, mind, they was together. They was, we <laughs> so, know some people like so, that in real life. So yeah, so in Justin's mind, they together. It makes no difference if, if Jeffrey thinks so or not. <laughs> but in his mind, they married. They live in the house with a picket fence. And they get ready to have a kid. That's what's mm -hmm. going on That's in Justin's mind. They're going over to China and get one. So, it wasn't nobody but DeMonica. And at first, Jeffrey ain't answered the phone. But she called back. He said, just like clockwork. So he answered the phone. She said... It's him over there. Nope. See, Jeffrey don't know how to lie. He can't lie for nothing. He always, you never, somebody asks you a question, you can't pause for three seconds and answer. We know you're lying. Soon as he said it, the boy over there, no, mama, he is not over here. Matter of fact, spin you it. Come? Like, he called and wanted to come over here, and I told him he can't come over here. And then tell Justin, get out of here. She said, you know what, put the phone on speak phone. And he was like, all right, so what she call him? You worthless ball of yarn. Yeah, you worthless, worthless ball, ball of, of yarn. yarn. <laughs> this is what I'm going to do. I'm getting ready to go to the courthouse. I'm going to go to your wife's chambers. And I'm going to file a motion for her to get off the case because <laughs> I got this nice little video. You know, this video that, you know, of you. In the bed. In the bed, in my son's room. You yeah. know, that's going to be really, really interesting. And son, if you don't bring your black hot back to this house with this here girlfriend, this fiance, this pregnant fiance, I'm going to let your tail go to jail too. Matter of fact, I'm going to go there and testify against you. And they said, we know just to get to talk. You won't do that, will you? She said, ha, 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 how are you? <laughs> she said, listen, you ought to get down to the courthouse. Meet me there. And son, you get on over there to the house. And we can squash all of this my way. <laughs> I said, God, don't. Justin going to look at um, Jeffrey after she hangs up and talk about something. She, she ain't going to do it. it. Uh, Jeffrey said, said, oh, yeah, she will. This is the same woman that botched in here. Yeah. With her cell phone ready, not gun and ready. Recording. Recording. And you mean yeah, to tell me you don't, you don't think, think she's gonna she... do that? Huh. Matter of fact, she'll take a copy and send it to your grandma scene. She yeah. gotta put it on VHS for grandma. Yeah. Because you can't send them nothing. Yeah. Ever... Matter of fact, when you send her a text, she's gonna call you. I would get ready to say that. Have you ever texted somebody that's not any kind of savvy? But like And then reason... call you back and be like, did you just send... call me? Or did or did you or did you just text me? Did you did you look at the text? I'm well, you well I baby, want... well baby, I don't know how to use that stuff. But why you get the phone for? <laughs> Paying all that money. So them people down in Verizon convinced me to get this smartphone that I that I don't know how to use. I got a coworker that got a. She got the Apple, yeah, the Apple Seven. And all she do is call. I said, why do you pay all this money for this? God trying to teach her something, but she was like, I don't know. I said, you pay all that money for a basic phone. And it's not hard. Texting is easier than, than, than freaking making a phone call these days. But let their granddaughters and, and stuff go missing. They'll learn how to use it. Uh huh. They'll, 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 yeah, they don't know how to use Facebook. Oh, nothing. Twitter. And tell them Instagram or text. But yeah, soon yeah, they won't be nosy if something happened to them kids. Yep. They know. They'll learn quick. We know some people like that. Yeah, we do. So then we see Landon. Landon is on the campaign trail with um, Charles Obama. And he told Charles Obama, said, listen, I need to talk to you in private. So they go back to the back of the um of the bus. He said, listen, I need to apologize. I need to pop four. And he said, four. Four. And every time he gave him a reason why he was apologizing, he said, okay, I accept your apology. Basically, he was telling him, look, I overstepped my boundaries. Mm -hmm. I called the police on Candace, mm -hmm. and I didn't trust y'all authority. As yeah. they would say, on and I didn't respect your wishes. 
And he said, okay. He said, I got something else for you. Let me show you. He said, this is her new profile. Only thing it's showing is where she lived and what school she went to. All that escort bullshit is gone. Her prices and all that, that gone. That's gone. So she's she the looks woman clean as a whistle. that you want her to be. And then he gonna tell me also, you sure? No, 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 no. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, you sure. Charles will be like, did you just life. apologize and try to flip that bullshit? Then he stayed there. It was like, is there anything else? He said, no. Uh, I'd like for you to go ahead and leave so I can give her a call. I said, why are they both standing up there looking yeah. like they brothers? Yeah, they do look like they brothers, though. Uh -huh, both of their lips black. I said, y'all mm -hmm. been smoking weed on that campaign trail. Uh -huh. So the so, lips give you away every time. Uh, so Charles Obama, he sits on the bed and he calls Candace. And he was like, how you doing? How you feeling? And she was like, I'm about to head to the funeral home. So that would tell you what kind of mood I'm in. Mm -hmm. He was like, you know what? When you're in a better mood, when you come back from all that, give, give me, a, me call. a call. And she was like, you know what? Okay. And this is when it got real, y'all. My God, my God. <laughs> so we see Hannah and Benny show up over there at the funeral home. Hmm. Oh boy, the funeral director was like, you know what, do you want to view the body now or let's talk business first? They said, well, let's go ahead and talk business first and we'll view the body on our way on out the door, something like that. So, oh boy, see this would piss me off about this little funeral director. When huh? we looked at his little invoice, and he said, I don't got the authorization to charge Catherine Cryer for this here funeral. You sure you want this white casket right here? When you can get this luxurious blue casket right here? And you ain't got to pay for it? So but, he trying to upcharge like a But hey, I can't, I can't knock the player's hustle though. Me either. Shoot, it, whenever time you can upsell somebody, go and try to upsell them. Yeah. Cause most of the time you can upsell people in funeral stuff. Oh yeah. People, yeah, cause people spare no expense yeah. if they got life insurance. Yeah. Or got some savings. Mm hmm If they don't, they'd be like, how much that wooden one is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, how much that one is? Matter of fact, how much that one that y'all building right now? Uh, do you got any disposables? <laughs> <laughs> that is a true thing if you really want to know. So, next thing we know, old boy shows them the program. And I said, what is this kind of, bullshit? Kind of bullshit program? I said, if this ain't a Baptist church Sunday morning announcement program, yeah, they I print, that print those it. off in the back. See, when the picture on the front is bleeding over to the back, it's bucked up. The picture on the front ain't supposed to be on the back. <laughs> that's the first, that's the first thing. Did get away. That's the first thing I saw. I was like, come on now. So Benny looked at the program and evidently what he saw was that Candace's name went on to the something because he tried to interject. But at the same time, Hannah tried to change the subject and it went on to something else. So then old boy was back on the casket thing. He was like, come on now. Let's see if we can get a, a, another price for this blue one. So I'm sitting here like, why are we trying to negotiate prices when money ain't an object to Catherine, which I didn't understand. But I was like, okay, don't yeah. even worry about it. But it's all Hannah. Getting, getting the opportunity to send I'm not gonna do it to heaven in style. But she wanted to send them there in the on layaway. So the next day we know, Candace showed up to the funeral home. And the whole vibe changed. She uh, came in there like... Even the music changed. Doom. Doom. <laughs> came in there. She looked like, like she was bringing death with her. Huh? And I said, oh, hell. Here it is. So first thing she looked at, she said, hmm. What casket is my son going to be buried in? Oh, mama picked out the white one. Oh, mama picked out the white one. one. Oh, so I'll take the blue I'll one. I'll take the blue one. She was like, you know what? No, no, no. Do you have the money to pay for this blue one? I'll find the money. I'll bring it. But he's not going to be buried in that white casket. So the next thing we know, she looked at the program and she said, who the hell made this up? <laughs> who wrote this? <laughs> And the funeral is tomorrow? Who gave you this authorization? See, now Candace was getting on my nerves in this instance. Because first of all, you ain't been there. You ain't made not nail call. You know that your son been dead for at least, what, in this world, probably 20 minutes. Yeah. And you ain't tried to make no attempt to call the funeral home, start no, nothing. Like, if you had did that, I could probably be here with you. But your mama did everything. Because you were not present. All right, I'm gonna give it to you because I'm, I'm an equal opportunity roast. Yeah, I'm ready to say, I'm ready to say, uh, 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 I hear you what you what you're saying right there, but you ain't supposed to overstep the mama. 
That's her, that's her that's, sign. That's, that's, that's disrespect. As much as hell disrespect her, I don't give a rest. But they both disrespect each other. But th in this instant right here, you want to keep the tension as low as, as, low as possible. And Hannah knew by doing these arrangements without Candace's consent. She did it on purpose. What's going to flare everything up and then she can flip back and play like she like she the the villain or the victim that's the being victim. persecuted. Because no. I'm trying to do right by my grandson. Yeah, yeah. So Candace was like, uh-uh. These programs right here and he going to be buried where? Oh, no, no, no. My son would not be buried at a church. I said, first of all, they don't never be buried at, in the church. They yeah. be buried in, in, in the graves. I, yeah. So I got what you said, but you need to say it right. Yeah. So she said, you know what? Matter of fact, buck all this. We're going to change the date mm -hmm. and we're going to change the location. So homeboy said, you know, this is a $6,000 funeral as is. She's you like, do anything else, I'm going to need you to pay. And I need you to pay yeah, like she, today. She, she said, I got you the money to mine. And he said, do you have a credit card? She said, no, I'm going to bring you cash. I'm going to bring you cash. Hannah said, so how you going to come up with that kind of cash on a whim? She said, oh, 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 I got it. The guy that's about to be president. She said, excuse me, come again. She said, I saw the news. And been in Secret Service, all that bullshit. That's all that got to do with your sister. I bet you she blackmailing this dude. Candace was like, what are you talking you about? She said, I told you, I saw it on the news where he said <laughs> he was very close to our family. I told y'all I was going to come back into play. Mm -hmm. And that he had, con he was giving his condolences. That man don't know us, so I know it's some bullshit that you in. I said, oh, hell. So, yep. Here we go. <laughs> so then all of a sudden, Candace and Benny got into it. Because mm -hmm. Benny was trying to be like, look, Candace, don't disrespect mama. Because Candace came in there on that straight bullshit like she did last week. Which I was kind of with her because there's a lot that I don't understand. In Tyler Perry land, it's supposed to have happened the way it's supposed to have happened. <laughs> but she said, you said that you covered my son. You said that you walked in the bathroom and you covered and protected him. But yet you did not get shot or have a scratch on you. And Benny said, so you acting like you want my mama to be shot. Is so, that what you said? Is that what you said? She said, yes. I think she did this out of spite to get back at me. Benny said, no, this is not what is going <laughs> on, Candace. You got to stop this. You got to stop. Please calm Please down. Stop. Mommy be right. Mommy be right. He was so, he was so. Mommy be right. I should have never listened to you. <laughs> And she said, oh, so now you've been talking to your mother. <laughs> said, oh, my God. And she was, he was like, you know what, Candace? I'm sick of you. I'm just sick of you. And she said, I'm sick, sick of you. you. I said, oh. And, she, and she, this is when she brought home some valid points. And my mind is might be the same. Uh -huh. She said, don't act like that you didn't benefit off of the stuff that you would come back and tell me. You would come and tell me your hopes, your dreams, how y'all didn't have money, mm -hmm. how y'all were struggling, and this, that, and the third. So I went out and I provided it the best way that I know how basically I use my body. He said, well, I didn't ask you, you to go out there and lay on your back mm -hmm. and spread your A in order to fund my but hopes and dreams. But you ain't had no problem receiving the benefits from it though, player. He said, I was telling my sister my hopes and dreams because she loved me. I didn't want you to go out there and fund it. So now we got Hannah looking at Candace like, you do have a point, but I'm not gonna let you know that you uh -huh. made a point. I'm just gonna sit back and And is looking at um, Candace like, you know what? I did take a lot from you, even though I didn't ask. You did help, because listen, didn't Candace save that house? Well, you know, yep. Quincy ran the car through it now, so it don't even matter. Yep. She bought them houses. Yep. Cars. Yep. Did everything she could. Yep. Try to make things a little bit better for them. Yep. So we can't act like the Candace didn't try to do some stuff. Yeah. And we can't act like, see, I'm about to go down a rabbit hole. What we not going to do? See, you know, we all have those manipulative um, family members, right? Huh? And they don't actually call to tell you that they want your help. They just give you the story of hopelessness. And they know that if you are a person that loves them and they and you have a good heart, then they they be like, okay, at some point they're gonna they're go gonna, ahead and give in. Come through for me, yeah. That's what Benny did. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. That's mm -hmm. what he did. He basically told his his sister, "The woe it's me. <clears throat> oh, this and is happening." He, so why all the truth coming out? You gotta remember that you mama freaking Benny mortgage freaking um Hannah's house behind her back. So I think it was sixty G's. And what did he do that for? I don't even remember he, that. He, I think he did it to try to start a toy yard, didn't he? 
I don't remember. He did it for he did it behind his mama's back, and he couldn't afford to pay the money back, and they was gonna lose the house. Yeah. And Candace came through and gave him that money to pay the bank back so they could keep that house. So yeah, Benny is like a whole bunch of people yeah. That so we all know. <laughs> so so Hannah thinking that Benny is the good son, but he she, the manipulative one. But he the miller. She ain't seeing his bullshit until but, today. Yeah. But you know she ain't, she ain't come out with none of that stuff. Mm -mm. So him and Candace getting into it, and this is what drove me all the way home for me. I said, you know what? Mm. Mm. Candace said, you know what? I'm sick of this. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of you. And my son will not be buried in this white casket. He will be buried in this blue one right here. F this white casket. He will be buried in the blue one. And she took the white casket and, and she, she opened it up. up. Yeah. And Lil' Cute was in it. I was like, I wasn't ready for that. I wasn't ready. I was not ready for that. And, and Benny said, ooh, ooh, ooh. I said, ooh. So what the hell is going on? And Candace was over there getting ready to tear that guy door and um, picture yeah, off the uh -huh. wall. And I said, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for that. But do you remember what that brought me back to? Remember we had to go to the funeral home for your oh, grandma? Oh, yeah. When your grandma passed? Mm hmm And it's a little country um funeral home, right? And he gets all the business because he is fair. And yeah. he does work he with give people. good prices, yeah. He yeah, he does really good prices. He'll, he'll, he he'll do the funeral that you pay him ten dollars a month. Yeah, he really up. will. Uh -huh. Now, now his daughter's a new sheriff in town. Now mm -hmm. she get ready to take over the business. So everybody with all this showing y'all, you, <laughs> you better re up. get out of luck. So we in the funeral home, right? <clears throat> little small place, and there's caskets like there's the display room, and then there's like an overflow of just caskets that just came in, just right? Just lying around all willy-nilly like Mike B. said. Yeah, so I freaked out by stuff like that anyway. So when we had to go back to the office, he had caskets on the wall. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you know, just pick out which ones y'all want. So we go to the showroom, didn't really see what we wanted. So we walked out and we saw this really nice one. And <laughs> we wanted to see what the inside looked like. <laughs> And Stanley's uncle was about to open the casket up to see what the inside of the bedding looked like. And he said, oh my God, no, 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 no. That's Mr. Such and Such in that <laughs> casket. I said, if he had opened that God darn casket and a man would have been sitting in that casket right here in front of my eyes, I would have tore a hole through this God darn funeral <laughs> home today. So that's what brought it back to what that brought me back to. Why do we go that, crazy over dead bodies? Though, I man. don't know. I don't do funerals. I know the movies did that bullshit to us. I, I don't. All know. the movies the evil did back in the day, and you spit on my grave, and all that that horror bullshit with the bodies and stuff falling out the cows and coming out the grave. I don't do dead people. I swear to God. And then you got people like <clears throat> my mama who love them, love them, soak them right up. Can't wait to get there. Well, we we oh, we gotta go view such and such as body. Do you even know them like that? Well, no, no, it's all no. about supporting the family. It's like, uh, -uh. what? Mm. I don't get it. But yeah, yeah, we did all of that. The end scene that was a lot of truth. A lot of stuff like that comes out on families doing In death. time of death. Time of death. The truth comes out. Yeah. So I'm sitting here like, dang. Candace did have a lot on her. You know, as much yeah. as she do some bullshit and all her yeah. stuff be illegal, yeah, she did have a heart to take care of her brother. Yeah, because I could see myself and my brother would call me with the "woe is me." <clears throat> that I mean, and I would do it for anybody, which mm -hmm. is unfortunate sometimes. But yeah, if you call me and you tell me about you being down and out all the time, at some point, if I have the means to do it or ain't know how to do it, I'm probably gonna try to fix your situation. Yeah, which sometimes ain't always the right thing to do. But in this case, look where it got all of them. Mm -hmm. Y'all sitting there with a funeral that y'all can't even pay for yep. yourselves. and After you done had all that money. And you know what? I just had a parallel. Uh-oh. Candace is Hannah. Yeah. She yeah. too prideful to even let the um, criers pay for the day on funeral. I won't pay for it myself because uh -huh. I don't want them putting no money. Oh, yeah. I mm -hmm. said yeah. I can't. Yeah. Like I said, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. That's why Hannah is so mad at her because that's her. Her daughter's her and she's I still want to know more about um, Hannah's past. Oh, that's yeah. all I want to know. Yeah, what happened to what she called her that had her home in the air? What her name was? Michael went to one yeah, of the church Mike. girls that was giving out. <laughs> now, Benny wasn't one that blocked that. 
He went to one of them church girls that was giving out. <laughs> he said, look, look, we can't wait until Jesus come back and I ain't ready to get married right now. So if you ain't giving out, I got to move on to Sister Isabel <laughs> that ain't been saved but for two months. See, she not grounded yet. So she gonna uh, give it to me. Wait a minute, we supposed to be on here for, for less than 20 minutes and it's like 30 minutes. Already. Well, I'm going to be straight from the end. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla.